Honestly, I think that Ty Simpson throws the best football. And this is coming from one practice, so take it for what it is. But let's zoom in on some of these throws that were made by Ty Simpson yesterday during Alabama's first practice, kind of walk you through it. As you can see, Ty Simpson throws a very tight and concise football. One thing that you're going to see right here, that's a bullet to Ja'Cory Brooks across the middle of the field. Effortlessly downfield, 15 yards plus, he connects with Kobe Prentice. It was a throw on the money. And when we compare that to the other quarterbacks that were throwing similar routes, you see that they are not as accurate as Ty Simpson. So if there was a day one winner within four throws of the football, I think it goes to Ty Simpson. Maybe a little bit too air, if anything, on that ball, but every single ball is nice, tight, and compact. Now let's look at Notre Dame transfer quarterback Tyler Buckner. I thought that Buckner threw some good tight spirals yesterday. That one right there to Robbie Oots underneath um, his waistline. And then again, a little bit off when he's throwing to Amari Nyblack. Again, these are like four throws out of probably 100 that they did yesterday. But this is the footage that we have to work with. So this is what we're going to go with going forward. I think the thing with Tyler Buckner is we want to see a quarterback who is accurate 25 yards downfield. Is that going to be any of the quarterbacks? Again, that ball is a little bit off that he threw to his tight end Amari Nyblack and then this football right there you see that Kendrick Law has to stop to come back to get that football can't really see much from just like the rollout pass but I think that Tyler Buckner certainly has an arm on him and is displaying some good arm strength during the first Alabama practice let me know what you think about Tyler Buckner from this small sample size that we received on Thursday August 3rd Next, we're going to look at Alabama quarterback Jalen Milrow. And the first thing that stands out is just the physique of Milrow. I mean, the guy is completely shredded, probably the most diesel quarterback in all of college football. In my opinion, he has somewhat of an awkward delivery when he's throwing the football on these short routes. So let me know if you agree with that inside the comment box. So see what I'm saying right here. It just kind of seems a little bit high over the top. Um, probably doesn't mean much, but just seems a little bit more awkward than the other two quarterbacks. That was the throw I'm talking about right there. Now, it's important to note that when Alabama did send the footage to us, that Jalen Milrow is the first quarterback that they featured. Does that mean anything? Probably not. It probably means that he is the first quarterback that is getting the reps, and that's probably out of respect, being that he was the only guy that saw significant playing time last season. I want to see if Jalen Milrow can take this offense by the horns. Same thing that Nick Saban said yesterday, which quarterback is going to stand out and really take over this group. But when you look to Jalen Milrow, I do like this throw right here. I mean, that is progression from what we've seen, even probably from the springtime. Again, this is a small sample size from all of the quarterbacks. This is what we have to work with. Number 12 right here. This is the young freshman, Dylan Lonergan. And then you also have Eli Holstein, number 10. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the quarterbacks inside the comment box. Coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube.